for the second straight night, just two home teams won while not a single game was determined by one run. The Bears outslugged the Wiz in a relatively low-scoring game as both offensive leaders again struggled. Mel Rojas Jr. for the Wiz and Jose Miguel Fernandez for the Bears were held to just one hit across 10 total at-bats between the two of them. The Twins were one of the two teams of the night to score double digits, and they did so despite Roberto Ramos going 0-5 for 5 at the dish. The Twins and Dinos combined for 25 total hits, with Tyler Wilson giving the Twins a decent enough outing for them to secure the victory. The Tigers were the other team to put up double digits, and they did so by stomping on the Wyverns. Kia's top three hitters each recorded a three-hit game, and their bullpen didn't allow a single run over five innings. The Lions squeaked by with a victory over the Eagles, despite Chad Bell's best outing of the year. Bell went six scoreless innings of one-hit ball with seven strikeouts. Kiwoom got their revenge on the Giants from Game 1 as their starter went 7 and 2 thirds strong innings without allowing, allowing a run. For player news, Eagles pitcher Chad Bell didn't factor into the decision in Saturday's contest between the Lions and the Eagles. He tossed 6 scoreless innings, giving up 1 hit and 3 walks while fanning 7. Twins pitcher Tyler Wilson earned the win Saturday against the Dinos. He allowed 4 runs on 6 hits including two home runs, and two walks while fanning seven across five innings. Yesterday's DFS must-start Addison Russell went three for four with a double and a run in Saturday's victory over the Giants. Here are today's odds, courtesy of FanDuel Sportsbook. It's the finale of the series, and just the Lions and Twins are looking for the sweep. The Kia Tigers are the biggest favorite on the day, with three of the five totals overall set at 11 and a half. Every top five team won yesterday, except the NC Dinos, who are still just 3-7 and seven in their last 10 games. The LG Twins own the longest winning streak at four games, while the Hanwha Eagles own the longest losing streak also at four games. Today's Daily Fantasy must start is again Addison Russell. I'm going all the way here with Russell as he didn't disappoint last night against the Giants. He went 3-4 for four with a double and a run scored. He's back on track, and I expect him to finish this series strong in what should be a statement game for the Kiwoom Heroes. Reviews were first looking at the SK Wyverns and the Kia Tigers. Wyverns pitcher Ricardo Pinto has been awful his last few starts. In three of his previous four, he's had more walks than strikeouts, and he's allowed 21 total earned runs in not even 19 innings of work. The Tigers offense hasn't been a strong unit ever since Preston Tucker was revealed to be a super streaky hitter. But recently, this team is trending upwards. After managing just five hits three nights ago and then seven the day after, yesterday they hit 17 total hits on their way to pounding the Wyverns. I expect more of the same with this Tigers team wanting to make a strong statement game here and maintain their playoff spot. Next, Warwick Sapphold faces the Samsung Lions. I said yesterday that this series could be a sweep, and I think it will be, but after yesterday's just two total runs scored, I'm more confident in the under. Sapold isn't amazing, as seen by his ERA, but the Lions haven't seen him at all this year. Juan Tayin is just 20-year-old who's held his own in two starts against Doosan despite not racking up many walks or strikeouts. Both teams rank in the bottom half of scoring metrics, and with two halfway decent pitchers on the mound and coming up at the end of a long week for both these teams, I expect another, another low-scoring game.